The question is, uh, personally, I really want to know what is the happiest day or what is your favorite moment filming the series of Team Clash? Like, top of your head. I mean, Let's start with, um, okay, Jada? Um, I guess, sobrang daming mga moments na sobrang happy kasi na, um, I feel like we're all naturally really close, but I think it's the, the pranks that would go on. <laughs> Before we would do takes, specifically one time with Ralph, <laughs> where he was late. <laughs> si si Kobe na kaisip na eh. Pero yun like some. <laughs> Pero yun yah, I would say yung mga pranks, pati yung mga moments na ano yun pag uh, those moments on set na, um, for example, may nabubulol or something like that. <laughs> for instance, <laughs> for instance um, you know. I guess the, the beautiful thing about it is we all just kind of like are able to laugh it off and just really have fun and enjoy. So, siguro yun yung mga moments na ganun. And yung mga uh, moments of improv, siguro, yung mga nag, pag naka-adlib yung mga classmates namin. Super there. Hey. Hi, uh, I'm Ako naman. I'm Ari naman. Kay Ralph din. Ewan ko, nakakatawa talaga si Ralph eh. May scene kami, <laughs> may scene kami na susugurin namin si Zoe at yung girls, kaming mga boys. Tapos, may moment doon na uh, si Ralph, bigla siya nag... Ewan yung mga ano? Yung... Hindi, <laughs> 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 yung pinakita naman eh. Tapos lahat kami, parang pinitigyan lang namin yung tao namin. Pero may nakailang takes kami doon din kayo, di ba? Mga four takes ata eh. Pinitigyan lang tumawa. So you need challenge dito, no? To keep yourself in character while everyone's doing something silly. So yun yung ginagawa nila. And minsan uh, nagagawa, minsan hindi. But I'm happy for that, no? They're really trying to keep us straight faces. It's really a nice set. It was out of nowhere then. Napili ko ako sa off-guard, so parang it's the funniest thing ever. You. Oh, uh, ano? Ay, sorry. Dadagdag no, lang ako. Sorry. Yung kapag kunyari mga 1am na, hyper, sobrang energetic, parang let's do this. Parang gawin na natin to. And parang hindi kami napapagod kasi kung ano na lang yung mga sinasabi namin. And ayun, masaya siyang gawin kasama tong mga cast sa team cast. Kaya, kaya solid yun. I love you well, there we go. Now, I'd like to introduce Sir Justin Iron to help us entertain questions from our respected and reputable guest, the lovely press. Nakasama po natin na yun. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo, Jello. It was so nice to meet you. Ang galing. Ayan. Um, we have a lot of questions from the media in store for our uh, cast members of TV Clash. Um, okay, umpisahan na natin. Um, by the way, I'm Justin Ayers uh, from ABS Men PR. Um, una, gusto ko magpasalamat to our friends from the media for, uh, especially to those who nag stay up to this point, alam namin sunod-sunod ang events ninyo ngayong uh, araw. <laughs> Alright, sige, umpisahan natin our first set of questions. Iabang ko po, Mike. Um, from Alan Sancon of Stars Photo. Ayan na. <laughs> Congratulations everyone. Hindi ba? Para may idea. Congratulations for your uh, no, yeah, new series, musical series. The first question ko for Jada. Yeah. So Jada, I, I, I don't know if it is tama ako na this is your first acting. Ano, Opo, it is. Kumbaga, how is it? How is it uh, uh, itong first series mo? Kinabahan ka ba? Did you ask advice from your parents sa parawan na mga active before? Eh, nakilala ka namin before sa music, eh, di ba? So this time, how is it, ano, doing this series for the first time? <laughs> Oo naman po, syempre, tao lang po ako. Syempre, kinabahan din po ako. May kasamang pressure, pero honestly po na challenge po ako. And this is something new for me. And it's such a wonderful first experience and first project for me po. Uh, to be with all of these amazing people na lahat po kami committed po sa isang goal which is uh, makapagpasaya ng tao through this medium which is through the series. And syempre po, uh, nag-ask din po ako ng advice sa uh, mag-una ko, specifically my mom since uh, no, she's been acting since she was 11 years old. So syempre yun, pero um, I, 
guess I also seek help from, of course, ABS-CBN and uh, management, of course. Sina Direct Gina, Sina Ate Pupay, and the writers as well of this amazing series to, um, I guess, you know, help me uh, find the direction of where to take this role and this project for. So it's honestly been such an amazing experience and um, fun. Um, I feel really grateful po kasi para po sa akin, parang na-marry po yung dalawang worlds ko po ng music and of course acting, which is a uh, newfound passion for me. So, um, dream project po talaga. I love that. I would like to be known as um, a multimedia entertainer. Um, I guess uh, whichever, how, however people will know me. But of course, this is what I say. Music will always be my first love. And um, that's where my heart is. But of course, there's also room in my heart for acting. And especially with this project, and you know what, kaya ko nang sinabi ko po. Um, I, I guess I'm able to showcase two new sides to myself, and of course, one part without me, which is a, of course my music background. But in the book, no. And this role is perfect for her because uh, she sings and acts, and the role requires her to sing in this uh, in this series. And to ang kwa ni Kevin yung character na this na role. Salamat po direct. Correct, nasa iyo na rin yung spot, tanongin na rin kita. Oh yes, but... Kumbaga, uh, kumbaga et, paano na po itong series na to? This is a musical series. Uh, are, you, are you parang, uh, kumbaga talaga yung mga mga kasari dito dapat magaling kumanta, magaling sa music, may ganyan ka? Because this is a musical series. Well, it's uh, not a musical, but uh, madaling music dito, no? There are many play instruments, but yes, we auditioned all of them na sila may uh, instrument, instrument and uh, musical capabilities. Some sing, some can play the drums, the guitar. So we had auditions and, uh, ayan, kung nandito na ang team clash na natin, uh, stars na. So, sunutan ko lang yung ni Iber. Ayan, so anyway, um, you had to check their musical ability before you make them a cast. That's a requirement. Right? Yes, can, uh, can you sing? Can you uh, play the instrument? And sa auditions, they were auditioning. Para kami ano, para kami uh, uh, idol ano na uh, buzzer ganyan. But lahat sila ng jazz, lahat they had their own uh, particular uh, style and uh, you know personality na na gusto ng tapik for this show. So kung sasabi niyo direct na well deserved based sa talent na pinakita nila. Of course, of course, they wouldn't be here and the show wouldn't be uh, complete and you know nakita niyo naman ang the making and the trailer do. No? Uh, Bukatan lang silang banda na ay, at magkaibigan na banda. Okay. Yung second question ko for Aljon. Hi Aljon. This is a new ano, no? Parang this is a new pair, love team, di ba? Parang nanibago kami na parang wala si Karina ngayon. Your new love team is Jada. So how is it working with Jada? And kung paga, paano yun? Parang, parang nanibago ka ba? Because you have a new love team. Parang yun. Hi. Nung nalaman po namin na magkakaroon kami ng project together, talagang kinilala namin ng isa't isa. We started texting each other. Uh, inaalam ko yung hobbies niya, yung hobbies ko, yung mga kung paano namin tingnan yung mga bagay. So, maraming effort yung ginagawa namin para mag-work itong project. So, parang before pa nung taping, Ang dami na nung mag-goals natin na gusto natin magawa and sobrang collaborating kasi every time may scene kami, pinutulungan na talaga ako. Halimbawa, may scene na madaling araw tapos parang lubang ako, papahawak lang ako sa kamay niya. Tapos, yun, feeling ko. Uh, kasi may, ako kasi yung love language ko, physical. So, every time may hahawak sa kamay ko, parang Nafi-feel ko yung energy, parang na-recharge ako. So, napag-usapan din namin yung strengths and weaknesses namin, strategy kami. And every time may kailangan din siya na tulong from me sa scene, minomotivate ko din siya. So, na-appreciate ko yun sa kanya kasi willing siya to work with me. Since yung trust pa lang, syempre debut niya to, debut acting tapos launching project niya. Pinagkakatiwalaan niya ako doon. Sobrang thankful ako. Ayun. Yung nakita naman sa trailer, di ba? Isa sa mga eksena na 
kaabang-abang yung eksena nyo dun sa topless scene, no? <laughs> so, is there any pressure dun sa part na yun? Paano nyo pinagandaan yun? Yeah. Meron mang ilangan dun sa eksena na yun, di ba? Ay, marami po kong magta-topless dito sa din crash. <laughs> uh, abangan niyo po kasi, hindi lang yun yung topless. I mean, si Zach, basta yun, abangan niyo guys. <laughs> May pressure kasi ako, kailangan ko mag-workout eh. Kailangan ko, dapat wala akong taba dito. Pero, best effort. Na gawa naman namin siya ng fun and kung paano siya nakikita ni Direk. Ayan, tinutukan talaga kami ni Direk sa mga tapos. At ano naman tayo, confident naman lahat kayo, no? Such a good-looking cast, no? Kahit uh, anong shape and size sila, they still look good because of your confidence. Body punch, positive. Oh, body punch. <laughs> Parang hindi yata nag-topless si Tommy doon na sa trailer. I don't know kung magta-topless pa siya. Bata pa ako. Yeah, I think I'll just say that for another time. I'll just say my body muna. Sana sinabi mo na abangan namin, di ba? Oo, abangan nyo lang po. Yung last ko na lang po na si Jada. Ano po? Sorry po. Jada? Parang ano, big word yung sinabi ni Arjun na malaki yung support ko sa kanya by holding his hand. Parang gano'n. Buti parang okay lang. Parang hindi ilang on your part na. Di ba parang it's intimidating na maka-holding yung kasal ka, yung napapago mo pala ka love team, gano'n. Parang paano mo yung nandal yung situation? I think po, uh, ang masasabi ko po talaga na I, I really do trust him. And I think yung talaga yung foundation ng working relationship natin yung approach namin na bago pa po namin talaga ay eh, start dito sa project na to, we really developed our, our friendship. And dahil din po, nagdam ko po talaga na kumitin din po siya dito sa project na to. And we're all working, we're both working towards one goal. I think yung talaga, um, siyempre may mga moments na, siyempre tamo din tayo, may ilang mga konti, pero I think nawala din yun eventually. And mas nagiging, I think, habang mas nakakatrabaho po kami, mas nagiging purportado po kami sa isa't isa. And dahil din nga po, I do feel like um, uh, dahil nga po, we're working towards one goal. Wala po kong parang uh, feeling of discomfort and things like that. Po. So, yun nga po. Tiwala na po. Thank you and congratulations here. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you. Ayun, salamat po yan. Ano ko, bago ko tatawagin yung susunod na magtatanong. I'm just curious though. Bawat isa sa inyo, I've seen you in several projects, whether on IWAN or ABS-CB. Um, how is this project different from what you did previously? I mean, ilang taon pa lang kayo siguro gusto niya, pero parang ang dami-dami nyo na nagawang series. So, kaya sila Kobe, si uh, Andy, si Zach. Um, ikaw siya, isa na kay Andy. Hi everyone. Hi. Uh, first of all, gusto mo na magpasalamat, of course, sa press natin and sa buong team na nag-settle dito sa ABMA. Um, so we're different um, project na for me because it's my first time to be in a triangle and in an interesting triangle but it's not like the usual triangle that you watch uh, in the being, uh, films and series. Iba siya. So, uh, ito yung difference niya and I'm really excited because I was really challenged kung paano ko ba ipapakita yung kilig and chemistry ko for both, both of my uh, pairs here, so triangle. Who is your pair? Si Sab! Si Sana! Si Sana! Sana! Si Sana! Me, I just learned that because you know, I know you used to from Kobe. How about with Zach? May adjustment ka ba? Oh no, si Sana po yung kabila ka bang ka-pair. Um, of course, there's an adjustment. I would have to like, really break down some walls on how we could work on our chemistry together. And it's not just like me and Fana or like me and Kobe alone, but it's like us three talaga. And that's, that it takes a lot of work for us to make that chemistry appear on, on screen. All right, thank you for sharing. Uh, yeah, I just want to say hello to all of the press. Uh, thank you so much for coming out today and giving your your time to us, and thank you to the whole staff that set this up. And anyways, going back to the question. Uh, para sa akin po, ang difference po dito sa project to, syempre naman, I have to 
build the chemistry. Well, we're a big group. We're a big band together, so I have to build my chemistry with everyone. Shempre, I have my best friends here, uh, like Zach and Aljon and Ralph. So um, we have to build our chemistry as a group, and especially sa lalo sa love triangle. Um, you know, it's, it's very different, but it's exciting and fun as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's the biggest difference. Your, your uh, most recent project before this is uh, Love and Forty Days. Love and Forty Days. Yeah. Ikaw na mga zap. Hello, Mike Test. Yon. Hello, guys. Um, I would say that this project is very different from the last project I did. Because you know, the last project I did was Tara G. No? If you guys heard yes. of this, and as a local laguertan, para. I had to change up a lot, but not really. Because my character as well, from Tara G, is kind of similar to my character here, Sander. Except, you know, Sander is more, more, we call them, more alpha male. So, yun. And another difference is, it's music, parang, it's musical in a way. So, there was, there was a sound unique that you were challenged now. Yeah. Your musical ability was challenged. Actually, super duper challenging yung chela namin when you were singing. Kasi, of course, parang you have to you have to choreograph it perfectly, and you know, I because when I did my scene, I was going wild at it, so it was really really hard. But at the same time, parang it's an experience because it, I don't know, parang it kind of reminded me of high school music. <laughs> and you know, I, I really love high school music as a child. So parang I don't know, it's really nice, and I'm just exa excited to see the outcome of it. And, yeah, I'm really stoked. Okay, ah, uh, dito ang talent na pinang papakita mo ay dancing ba? Singing. Singing. Kayo guys, si Angie and Kofi. Kasi para na malaman natin yung roles sa bawat isa. Drumming, tsaka ano, uh, guitar. <laughs> well, I hindi po ako bandmate here, so I'm the waitress. Or, no. I'm a fan girl. That's my talent. Hey, uh, ikaw na ba? What was your uh, most recent project? Um, uh, first and foremost, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Bianca. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I haven't done much. I haven't done much. I'm uh, very new to this industry. Oh, this is actually the second one I've ever filmed. So, um, I guess I would say she's very different from me as Bianca in general. Uh, kasi Yanni, uh, she loves differently from me. She she is very, very musically inclined. <laughs> she plays the piano, so there are certain things that I had to learn for her, like let's see the piano. So, uh, before taping, I was in the two hours, and um, <laughs> as in, two or two keys, and then I was in So, yeah, she's very, very different from me, but she she's very close to my heart because in a way, I understand her. Why she's so much better? 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 But yet, she still gives the world to the people that she loves. So, ayon, yun ang kung masasabi. Thank you. Thank you. Ito naman, Marcus. Para viral scandal ba yung last or seven projects? Um, I've done a couple more after viral scandal, pero wala pa sila out. So yeah, I'm just gonna say viral scandal was the last. Ano, um, the challenge kapag dito, coming from like a hit na serie. Um, I wouldn't say challenge. I felt I felt more excited because it's it's very different from most of the roles that I've done in the past. Mas parang serious yung approach ng career path ko before. So Team Clash was a bit of an unexpected job, but it's a very welcomed unexpected job. I really, really, really enjoy it. Um, the whole process of getting casted here in this uh, the show as June, incidentally. Oh man, napansin namin. Was that intention, right? I've, it's, it's in the book, so <laughs> yeah, um, coincidence lang. So, uh, but yeah, it's great. It's 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 a very uh, light and it's a great way to start the year, get to know all these amazing cast and, and create those bit of you know, everyone. It's been awesome. It's been really beautiful. Uh, first time you were in the Bacatan Bar, or you were in the mix? Uh, I was in the first time with everyone. Not with Black Sheep. I thought with Black Sheep. They will know. They'll, they'll know. Ata. Dito, ano yung musical uh, talent na pakikita namin? Uh, guitar at vocals ako dito. So parang, hindi ako kasama sa mga banda. I'm more of a solo 
solo hard disk flow. Pero dating sinip hard ni Zoe nang biglang bumalik lang para lang sirain niyo. Yung love ko. Nagugulo na ako dito. <laughs> Very exciting abang natin. Nang dumako tayo dito sa side na to, alam natin yung iba ah, sa kanila para mga singers talaga. So, yun, can you introduce yourself then your role in the CD? Sayan. Yan sige, umisa okay. Hi everyone, my name is Gail. Thank you so much for spending your time here with us. Um, I play the role of Ayumi and she's an energetic uh, math genius na medyo masungit but also parang may pakakalog din as I said. Um, but yeah, um, it's really fun working with everyone but I have to say one of the things that makes this experience so different kumpara sa mga previous na projects ko is the freedom, siguro. Kasi yung mga directors that I used to work with before, they're very based on the script. You have to follow everything. Pero I'm so much challenge ako dito kasi si Direct Gino, he keeps saying, just do whatever you want, just have fun and everything. And I'm not used to that. But ngayon, I'm, you know, super blessed to have this experience. And yeah, Team Clash is amazing, guys. So I hope you support it. Thank you. Ayan, how about you? Yes, uh, hello po everyone. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpunta po dito. Ako nga po pala si Ralph Malibunas. And ang piniplay po ng character ko po dito na instrument is guitar po. And yung character ko po dito is matalino. Ibang-iba po talaga siya. And medyo challenging po siya sa akin kasi hindi naman po talaga ako matalino, matalino in real life. Pero thank you sa salamin kasi nagmukha po akong matalino, di ba? Pero ayun po, syempre, uh, sa tulong po nila direct, uh, nagabayan naman po nila ako kung paano po gawin yung character ni Ken. And ayun po, masaya po siyang gawin dahil parang naglalaro lang din po kami sa set dahil sobrang enjoy. Kaya, ayun, must watch. Let's go. Hi everyone, maraming maraming salamat po for being here. And I'm, I'm Pana and I'm playing the role of Sal, Zoe's school friend and um, I'm a lesbian po dito and um, childhood best friend with Josh and ayun, um, <laughs> I'm really excited for this because um, this is my first acting experience and um, no una po talaga actually sobrang kinabahan ako kasi since ito nga po yung unang experience but of course with the help of Derek and the the cast and the whole team and natulungan po nila ako na ma magawa ko itong role na to. Kaya, um, masaya-masaya ako dahil talagang para lang kami nagbabonding and super masaya siya. And, and drummer ko pala ako dito. Drummer. <laughs> so, yun, magandang abang po sinila. Ito ako po si Lip Alfred and ako po si Lloyd po dito sa Team Class sa Best Friend Fully Ice. Ayan, so, ang kinaibahan po ng last project ko po dito po sa Team Class is uh, last project ko po is The Chosen One sa Pai Channel and uh, sobra po siyang heavy, yakan, ganyan and patayan, mga, mga ganit po type of, ano, of show po tapos dito po kasi is very light and dun po ako challenge kasi parang nasanay po ako na hindi po snappy yung pagpapatunong hindi nga kasi dapat kailangan uh, meron reaction so yun po sinasabi sa akin ng Direct Gino tinutulungan man po ako ng Direct Gino inalalayan ako yun sa mga staff na uh, unti-unting i-improve po yung pag-iis natin kasi syempre dapat mabilis ganyan. So yun po, pinaka-challenge po ako din. Thank you po. Ayan. Maraming salamat. Thank you for sharing about your characters. Bago ako magpatuloy, I have so, uh, a lot of questions in our friends from the media. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of um, my boss from ABS Event Corporate Communications, the head of ABS Event Corporate Communications, Mr. Kane Erod Soba. Hi, sir. <laughs> Alright, sige, tutuloy ko na yung tanong. Direk, uh, narado akong question kay Direk. Direk, tawag dito, parang yun yan, um, everyone's seeming to have fun while filming the series. Kayo rin mismo parang the creatives and the director, parang mga cool na yung person. Ano, ano bang style niyo? Can you share with us? Not really the typical DC. Typical yes, DC. yes. Uh, not everyone knows that I came from the comic of age genre nung, uh, nung nag-i-indie pa ako back in Cinemalaya. So, yun, animals, hashtag why. So, sanay ako uh, working with young uh, young actors, no? Uh, most like, most most of the time, you're starting pa lang. So, I always tell them, no? Uh, don't go far from what you know. Kasi, syempre, college students sila. So, ako naman, I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, limit their acting. I want them to do what they know. And of course, 
Siyempre, alam na nila yan. So, sabi ko sila, just enjoy the role. So, may nakikita ko mga bago. Kapag nag i sila, mas gumaganda. Sa sabihin, nakakatawa yung scene. At mas naging totoo. That's why uh, I'm so excited for the Gen Z's to watch. Kasi they'll see a bit of themselves in each and every, each and every character. So, yun. And of course, our writers are very young as well. Na si Polly, and si Simon, and si Kukay. Kaya lumilitaw talaga ang pagka-Gen Z. Di ba, Gen Z? And what do you think sets this apart from the other? Because I want to launch, I think in the past two years, several teen-oriented shows, some of them musically inclined. Uh, this one, what sets it, uh, this apart? This one is uh, produced also by Black Sheep. No? Uh, what we've seen from Black Sheep, uh, very edgy, you know, uh, out-of-the-box uh, uh, stories. And this one, talaga, magugulat kayo pagpakita niyo. Just from the trailer alone and the making, uh, you see those things uh, even in the bathroom scene na, whoa, pwede pala yung makita sa TV no? or sa series. And for this one, uh, you know, the characters can swear, they can drink, uh, they have urges. So uh, let's see what happens uh, sa mga episodes natin. Very interesting. Haabangan namin yan. Ikaw, Jeno, may question ka mga sa kanila before I call on our next media na magtatanong? Question, question. Um, Siguro for the whole cast or whoever wants to answer, um, uh, what is like the, with your characters and everything? Um, ano yung um, hugot ninyo sa roles niyo that you play? And throughout the progression of the show, do we see your character evolve or stagnant ba siya? Or like, how do you take on this? Um, and then, Jelo, bago nila sagutin niya, and like to acknowledge on the presence of the head of EDS Event Films, Mr. Chris Gasway. Ayan, yung mga hugot ng characters nyo, Jada. Yeah, siguro, ano, I would start off with, uh, sobrang nagre-resonate ako kay Zoe. Um, I would say na, you know, one of the driving forces with her is that she craves validation. And I think um, a lot of artists can relate to that, na yung feeling na yun na artists do crave for validation to a certain extent. And she just wants to be seen, she wants people to appreciate her for her talent. And sa totoo lang po, nakikita ko din yung mga aspects ng younger self. Upo kay Zoe, um, yung kapal na mukha ni Zoe, ganun din po ako ng bata ako. <laughs> so, yun, I would say yung personal hugot ko is, um, I really looked into my core as a person and seeing as how um, I could relate to her. And hindi po uh, naging mahirap po yung para sa akin. And um, I guess I would say that it's it's a really good um, character to really start with. Hindi po siya nalalayo po sa personality ko po. At sa mga goals ko and my, um, yeah, my personality ko. And thank you, Jaina, for sharing. Thank before you so much, Jaina. Before, Jaina. But before I proceed, we'd like to acknowledge the ABS-CB and head for digital, Sir Jamie Lopez! <laughs> Hello, Sir Jamie. Thank you so much. All right. Very interesting sinabi ni Zig na hindi ko nalayo sa character niya. And I'm not sure your facts. Would like to know you more. Kaya talaga na mga kaabangan nila yung yun in Team Clash. Anyone else who would like to answer? Ano bang hugot niyo sa role? Ayan, sige, Anson. Ano hugot mo sa role? Ang character ko dito ay si Ice. Ang um, pinakahugot niya ay love is a scam. So, I love yan sa romantic or sa family or kahit kanino. So, ako naman kasi sa personal kong buhay, kapag ina-acting ko si... pag binibigyan kong buhay si Ice sa eksena, hindi kasi talaga lahat ng pinagdaanan ko sa buhay ay tutugma sa script or pinagdaanan din ni Ice. So, may mga bagay na tinutugma ko siya kapag nakaka-relate ako. At may mga bagay na kinikilala ko talaga yung character. Binibuild ko yung kung anong relationship niya sa nanay niya o kay Zoe or sa bandmates niya. Kasi somehow nag-premetal din kami. Kasi parang gumagawa kami ng connection of cam na hindi naman talaga kailangan sabihin sa amin. Kung baga nagkakaroon kami ng pusa na magkaroon ng connection and relationship sa isa't isa. Ayun po. Very nice. Masasabi ko bang love is a scam? Sa totoong buhay? Sa totoong buhay, 
<laughs> Siyempre, hindi ko ginadjudge yung character ko kasi pinagdaanan niyo yun. Nire-respect ko. Pero sa personal kong pananaw, hindi naman scam mga ina. Okay. Random naman namin. Kami nga kinikili. <laughs> Alright, sige. Bago natin ubusin yung mga tanong. No? I'd like to call on uh, our second question from starcinema.com. We have Yumi Javier. Mayroon po ng mic. Hi, Miss Yumi. Hi, guys. Huge congratulations. We've been waiting for this series for so long. Thank and you. And now it's here. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so my first question is for Diretino. I have a couple of questions for the whole class, and anyone and everyone can answer. But Diret, um, a lot of hit game series now, especially in Hollywood, like Euphoria and Wednesday, they've been tackling like really hard issues, like brave when it comes to um, traffic issues that we don't normally see. And while p Flash seems to have that trademark, click, lovable vibes that Filipinos are used to and love, how is it breaking the barriers in terms of telling uh, the stories of Filipino young adults, whether 90s kids or Gen Z? I think uh, the young ones now, no? the general uh, uh, theme is also finding yourself, finding your dreams, and also uh, uh, lifting up yourself after a, a scandal. Alam na uso na yung cancel culture, so we'll see in this series how you put up, put up yourself, no? uh, pick up yourself from the ground after being canceled. So we're getting you mga kita natin sa mga characters natin sa show na to. Wow, okay, so cancel culture is one of the main themes. Alright, um, for the whole cast naman, um, we're interested to know, many viewers and fans are interested to know your main musical inspiration for your character. I guess I'll start then. <laughs> well, siguro po, I would say that one of my main musical inspirations when it comes to music in general, even for myself, would be Taylor Swift, of course. As you can see, I am wearing um, a Taylor Swift inside outfit. But I think I really channeled into a um, really strong, empowered uh, female pop icons or uh, even rock icons. So I was listening to um, artists like Avril Lavigne, Olivia Rodrigo, Maisie Peters, who's an up-and-coming um, British uh, singer-songwriter, and just these, all these women who have something to say with their music, and which is something that I resonate with my own music as well. And so I think that's really what I wanted to channel in with um, Zoe's drive and passion when it comes to anything, and of course her dreams. Okay, um, I'm going to I'll answer. Uh, I don't have a specific musician that I gained uh, inspiration from, pero I gained inspiration from a lot of rockers. Eh. And another good thing about uh, on set is whenever it's break time, see, direct Gino would always leave his laptop to make me watch movies, my coming of age movies specifically, my early 2000s stuff. I try to gain inspiration from that, and I gain inspiration from your typical rockers like Rolling Stones and stuff like that. And parang it, 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 it kind of manifested it pretty well. Naman, you know? So, you know, it's, it's a little hard to answer a specific musician, but I would say it's like a bunch. And I just combine every one of them. You know? Zach here is the biggest uh, movie buff here. He watches my laptop. <laughs> and we've seen it in Tagalog movies like Trip, Jolos. So, I want to sa I want. Actually, uh, I appreciate that kind of record. Because parang, when I watch those coming of age movies, before my take or before my scene, I have that inspiration. Eh? And I told the like, Gina about that specifically. And it works. I really carry the character of Sander. So, yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else would like to share your musical inspiration? Si Pat Pan is here. Ako naman po, um, inspiration ko. Um, just like what um, um, Jada and, um, um, said, um, I'm listening to so many artists. And siguro yung inspiration ko, um, parents ko po, kasi yung parents ko, um, uh, tumutuloy sila sa isang band, so um, tinuturuan nila ako. And um, ayun po, sila po yung inspiration ko. Um, actually, I also have one. 
Uh, my inspiration would have to be, she's not very famous here, but her name is Upsol. And the way that she writes, she has a very, I don't give a F attitude about everything. And having to be, I don't know, Zoe's friend in this, the guy, we have to be very strong and like energetic and very opinionated women, you know, to carry the band. So I try to channel her when I channel I do. Alright, okay, thank you. And that makes it more exciting for us to watch how these inspirations translate on screen. And my last question would be, in relation to the whole storyline of the series, uh, what was the hardest personal challenge that you had to face as a teen or as a young adult? And how did you overcome it? Miss you. I miss you, Well, I don't like to start. Uh, go I mean, the hardest. As a teen, um, <laughs> as, a as a teen or a young adult, um, here, well, I've been writing songs, uh, singing songs and writing since five years ago, I think I started here. Um, but one thing I never really got over was performing live. That's always been a, like a fear of mine. Um, and what I'm excited to for you guys to see is that I'm actually going to be putting myself out there in this show. I know it's the EP and stuff, but still, that's, it's, it's, that's probably my biggest fear that I'm going to overcome throughout this show. Performing live and um, even public speaking, Google it now means it's my place. But you know, it's a it's a big thing of mine, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Ako po, I think the biggest challenge ko as a teen or kind of as a child before, um, I've always been away from my family. Like we all don't live together, you know. As a kid, I never really got to live with my dad. It was always just me and my mom and sister. Um, and it, it, it was never easy just being away from family all the time. Um, that's why I really cherish the moments when I get to see them because I don't get to see them that much. So that's why I got my kuya So probably one of the biggest challenges for me as a team. I'd like to follow up Toby's answer. Um, an, uh, as a former team, though, since I'm like 23, uh, I would say the most challenging part is independence. Uh, I, I would like to say that it's overwhelming yung adult life. And I felt it. It was really, it's a weird experience. Para when I turned 20, 20 when, I, when I started making my own money, you know, parang, shucks, it's like I'm really. I'm working, but I, 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 I remember as a child, I was, I would always think of my adult self, and I'll be like, ah, I'm gonna, like, you know, I'll do good and stuff like that. But when I turned into a, you know, when I, when I turned twenty, I was like, okay, wait, lang. This is a little bit overwhelming. Parang new territories. It's not my comfort zone. Pero you get that satisfying feeling once you overcome that. Like, for example, social anxiety. No? Usually. Young, para you tend to be scared and talk in front of people. Those little steps that of you overcoming it really, really motivates me to to work harder and become a better person as well. So yeah, and yeah. Like to add, uh, as well, sa nabo ni Zach about independent independency. Um, I think habang habang matanda tayo as teenagers, de ba? Parang you really have to acknowledge that we are not bad. You have to stand on your own feet. Our parents won't be here forever. We have to find our place in this world. So I think our only thing to do is that we are in a constant search of filling a certain point in our hearts. So the end for me, yung mahirap is that ano bang purpose natin? Are we happy? Are we Manang, alam mo yung ganyan feeling. But like, I'm over that na. Okay na. Masama pa saya po ako. As in sobra. <laughs> existential crisis na nagkakaya. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> it's okay. Don't you think that's an, ano, an advantage? Like, kasi diba some other kids or teens na hinapan silang kumawala sa parents na nakakasakay ganyan. Hindi ba, you haven't given na uh, independence at a young age, so di ba mas parang hindi na Oh, tsaka I think uh, it's a culture, cultural thing as a Filipino, no? Parang we tend to stay with our families a lot longer than, than you know, people from the West. States. Kasi usually, people in the West, they start working around 16 years old, 15 years old. Pero I'm not assuming that most, most young Filipinos are like that. 
Because I, I, I know a lot of, I, I have a lot of friends that work at a very young age, and I really respect, respect them for that. And yun, um, I think, I think that's, uh, I think an advice for everyone, for all the Gen Zers, is to parang try to find work, try to be independent at an early age. Because you're, you're not gonna regret it. By the time you're 20, you're gonna be like, ah, I'm okay. I mean, I already started working at 16 or 15 or 17, whatever. And you're gonna be fine. Parang, you'll be great. You'll, you'll be great. I love that. You know, being independent and finding yourself and uh, going outside of your comfort zone to uh, experience new things. So I think that's uh, something. Keep on layers, some characters, and some Yes, the Very exciting. So, it's exciting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Jada, I saw your uh, recent post last Valentine's. Right. Your dad gave you flowers, right? That's your good. tradition since you were 12 now. And you had a funny reply that the bar is set high <laughs> for suitors. Um, has anybody ever dared to make a romantic gesture or give you something? Of course. I mean, there there have been those moments. I will say something. I know. <laughs> so what are your own like yeah. standards for a suitor if the bar is set that high? Um, I guess I wouldn't say that um, the bar is super high. I think it's just that the fact that I really do have my standards, honestly. Um, and that goes for my parents as well. Um, when my dad said in that message that um, they they are welcome to try. Um, I think I'm really just looking for someone who really respects me and you know what I do in my craft and someone who will be ultimately supportive and proud of me in whatever I do and who will always be by my side and you know I, I think um, having that trust and respect is really important and that's kind of what I look for in, in a partner. Okay wow and in response to that our having fans are next to in a Algen and <laughs> Jada bagay na daw magjowa. What's your reaction to this Algen? ああ、とは。でも、ええ。これのおせ、そのぐらい、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、ま
So mga kailan yun natin na nangyari behind the scenes as well. And I think after a team clash at 8 p.m. 9 or 9 p.m. may clash mates. I think uh, after, so pwede nila i-discuss na yung mga kilig moments, uh, what was on and behind the scenes. So, abangan nila nyo yan. Abangan po namin yung delay. Delay, matanong ko lang yun. Kasi uh, this is uh, in partnership with Black Sheep, a collab between Black Sheep and I want TFC. And kayo po yung background is in two uh, directing in the films. Uh, may adjust on po ba yung uh, CDs? Uh, a, uh, a big adjustment doing uh, a, a series, no? Because you should see that I did a movie. My last project with uh, Star Wars and Island with uh, Colleen and Sia. And uh, when I when I uh, transition to series, it's a talaga. Because, of course, there are episodes in it. You need to know the highs and the lows. And I'm so thankful that I have great writers with me, Polly and uh, Simon and Kuka, you know. Helping me out and really fleshing out all the scenes together. So, Polly, how was the experience writing this series? It's also my first series, and it was super fun because it's about youth. So, I just wanted to, like I said, I just enjoyed it. I just remembered my own youth. Maybe not too long ago, I'm still 25. But like, I just kind of enjoy. I tried to just think about my own youth and then try to put all the fun. All the highs and the lows, and I placed it in the script. Here's my title. Whatever's good. Um, in my case, aside from the the useful aspect, I want to excite the legals of music, music aspect and element of the film. I guess it's not too often that we get to do something on music. I guess in Philippine television or movies or something. So, um, having that as like a major element. You know, playing around with the instruments, with the band, how they clash, how they eventually harmonize and team up. Parang yun yung parang for me the excitement that while we're going this route now, we're, we're now here and it's an opportunity to show being at the talents of these people that they're more than just actors, they're youth performers and you know, very talented people. And I'm, I'm so happy working with that. Imagine working with uh, two great uh, young writers and a young cast and. Black Sheep is open to doing uh, a lot of things right now, and uh, I'm so happy working with Black Sheep and I won. Thank you, Derek. Curious na ako to sa dalawang writers, sabi ng yung time ako ito yung 20, yung 25 na siya. Ano pa kaya? <laughs> anyway, did you put a lot of your personal experiences into the content, to the blog? Yeah. I'm just curious now. Yeah, um, honestly... What's your creative process? Um, uh, I just kind of had fun. Like, I was like... I tried to imagine myself as Zoe, so I tried to just be like, okay, when I was this age and I just wanted to like, you know, have fun, do crazy things, that's what I would make Zoe do. It's like, what would Zoe say? What would I say at that time, at that place? That's what I would make Zoe and the other characters as well too. And I based it on a lot of like, own legs stuff, or own like fun moments, and that's what I tried to put here. <laughs> Can I just say really quick? I just know when I'm reading the script. I just know when you've written a line. Or I just know. Tapos din ata nung kita. Did you write this? You say yes. So I feel like her personality really came through. Oh well, I'm cute. Okay, sige. Marami pa mong tatanong next. Ah, let's ask a Gen Z from Random Republica. We have Sandy Kaguranan. Ah, pabot ng bahay. is a fan girl and coming out with PVB I've seen um, a lot of people support me how they really pour their hearts out in supporting me and Mandy kasi, and I could relate Mandy to them so portraying the role of Mandy made me appreciate these supporters even more because kitang kita kay Mandy kung paano niya binibigay yung puso niya para kay Zoe kay Ice para sa bandmates and I could all I would see that from my supporters every single day, and that's why I would I wouldn't replace my role or I wouldn't choose a different role because Mandy's 
she's she's a very jolly person and natutuwa ako kahit ako na aliwa ko sa ginagawa niya pagka umeexcel na kami yun ako po I don't think I would want to change my character because I think, like I said, I, I don't know if I said this before, but this is the most fun I've ever had, like playing a character, especially under direct Gino and our amazing writers right here. They they just make it the script so. I don't just you can really feel the energy between everyone, and um, I like how we I get to play around with it as well and. I can really relate to my character as well. That's why, um, you know, it's it's it's, it's very fun. And Shempre if Andy is still wanting to play Mandy, she won't pick anyone else. Shempre, I'll put him on the seat. I can't pick anyone else. No, no, no. You're picking Mandy, but I still have to be Joe. You know? It's a party style. There's no way. Uh, to answer your question, po, ano, uh, I would say Sander has a lot of work to do. Uh, and I don't want to judge Sander as well. Kasi Sander is Sander. That's, that's my character. I don't want to judge him. Pero, if I were to choose si Sander, because it's like, parang alter ego ko in a way. Because I tend to act alpha once in a while, you know. Because I, I try to bring up the confidence to people. And it shows. And I would say Sander is like the toxic. Toxic personality of mine. Parang ganun. And I would say. And, yeah. Will I choose Sander's character? Yes. I mean, I would. Kasi si Sander really, he's actually passionate in a way, I would say. He's passionate about a lot of things. Just, he's just somewhat in a slump right now, I would say. And he's got a lot of work to do. So, yeah. Ako po. Honestly, I, I really wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, I feel like stars are aligned for us for a certain reason. And si Yanni, binigay niya siya sa akin, ni Lord, for a reason. Uh, I've learned so much from her. And from what I've learned from her, I, I want to see her grow. I want to see her grow, find herself. And siguro kumalas sa mga bagay-bagay na she's used to. That I wanna, I wanna give her justice. I really wanna give this character justice. That hindi lang siya as na kabuntot kay Sandy. She, she's her own girl. She's finding herself, and gusto ko. I, I really want to be a part of that journey. So I am I'm very, very thankful for this one. So. Kung tulad mo tayo sa sayo nito, bago natin masagutin yung si Alison. Um, would you just choose a different character? That's a question. Yeah. Honestly, like I wouldn't either, but I wouldn't be against it at the same time. Because especially the girls, every single female character here is so different and so distinct. Because she's sad, man. She is of the LGBT community, man. So that's another perspective to tackle. She's Zoe, man. She's a leader. She's very strong, and she has to be the kind of the alpha female in our group, man. Si Yani naman, sobrang makalat and very dramatic, which is another a character that would be so interesting to portray. And then Mandy at the same time is so interesting because she's such an excitable character, very pure, and that's another side. So I feel like every single female character here has a different um, lens of what it means to be a female. And I think that's why it would be so important. And why not take the chance to be another character in this class? Tifa, the question of yeah, in relation to your LGBTQ role, did you have an apprehension for the role, or um, did you consult something from the community? Or? Um, I have friends from the LGBTQ community, and I um, first um, uh, came to and it's a very challenging role, but I'm grateful that I've given you some role because I really want to support, of course, the LGBTQ. LGBTQ community and uh, I know na maraming makaka-relate especially the teens na nahihirapan mag-out kahit um, teens pa lang sila and um, um, if ako yung pag-PDN I still think siguro sad pa rin ko and uh, Marami, itong question lang doon, it's a random question. Okay. Marami na kasing PLC 
movies, no? I think maraming options. <laughs> Do you think it's high time na dapat magkaroon naman ng GL series? Yes po. Um, 100% yes. Yes po. Kasi, um, um, that, for me po talaga dapat na, um, kasi yung ibang tao, hindi pa, hindi pa nila tanggapin everyone. Ay, yung ibang mga tao. So, gusto ko po na maging open ang lahat and maging of course, um, proud. Proud sila. Yes. No, I think it's also <laughs> important to tackle every single love story. Lahat naman tayo may three love stories. It's important to tackle everyone's journey. Okay. About you guys, yeah. Pipili ba kayo ng character? Uh, feeling ko po, magiging... Ang <laughs> feeling. Hindi, <laughs> uh, siguro mag-stick na lang po ako sa role. Kasi, um, na-enjoy ko na po siya. And bawat bawat character po kasi swak na swak po talaga para sa amin and kahit alam ko hindi nga po ako matalino pero na-enjoy ko, na ko siya dahil meron akong natutunan dito sa role na to kaya ayun lang sobrang sobrang saya niya saya niya lang kampanan dahil marami akong natutunan sa sa character ko kaya hindi po ako mamimili ng ibang character mag-stick pa rin po ako and sobrang saya niya po and sobrang kulit so parang Sakto lang din sa akin, di ba? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, yun. Ano ko, siguro po kami din ako, si Lloyd 2020 dito. Kasi syempre, parang po sa akin, nakakarilito ako kay Lloyd. Ay, yung mga personality ni Lloyd. Parang ako rin, kahit po yung ulit, ganyan, pala kaibigan. And, pinapakinagan din yung friendship. Hindi, nag-a-advise. So, parang nangihirapan to portray Lloyd. Kasi parang ginagal na ako ng real life. Good, sir. Good, sir. Good, sir. Thank you. About you, answer me, sir. Marcus. Ako naman, I think, once na binahal mo na yung character mo, hindi ka na titingin sa ito. Kumbaga, kaya nga, importante na hindi mo i-judge yung character mo. Kasi kailangan mo isang buhay yun. So, I think, kaya lahat kami, kapag tinanong kung magpapalit, magsistik kami kasi, na sa buhay na namin siya eh. Parang dalang-dala na namin yung sarili-sarili namin karakter. So, ayun, yun yung reason kung bakit magsistig kami. Ako kasi nakakarilig ako kay Ayos. Ang dami ko nang nabigay na palaman sa buhay niya. Kung baga, hindi naman kasama sa script. Nilagay ko yung mga playlist niya, kung ano yung mga favorite number niya, color niya, kung ano yung ginagawa niya bago matulog. So, parang na-attach na din ako sa kanya. So, kung, lalo na ngayon na kapag TV na kami ng ilang beses, I don't think magagawa ko yung character ni Sander or ni Josh kung binahal ko na talaga yung character ni Sander. No. Wow, talaga may accountability na din sa character. Ikaw, Marcos? Um, well, for me, hindi lang si Judy pinagmatanda din sa cast. I feel like mas bagay talaga sa akin ni Judy. I don't think I have the teenage spunk anymore to keep up with the banda-banda energy. Um, but I know, of course, just, um, just Getting to know the character of Jude, I kind of relate to a lot with him, especially since he's a songwriter too. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change. I can't wait to play Jude. Copy paste po sa sabi niya. Copy paste. Hindi pero I would really just echo the same sentiment that I really do feel really attached and invested. And so, kasi nga po hindi ko sa talaga na lalayo sa mga universidad. Sobrang nagrerasine po sa akin yung Um, pati yung, yung strengths niya, yung mga weaknesses niya. Um, I feel like she's also really like a part of me at this point, and she also contains a part or parts of me rather. So I really wouldn't have wouldn't have it any other way. But I would also say that in echo for the new sentiments ni Gail, na all of these characters are so uh, flushed out well, which I have to give props to the creative team. Guys, you really did so well in making these characters so lovable. And masasabi ko po, pag napanood niyo po yung palabas na to, you all are gonna root for them. Kasi may mga anya-anya silang moments of charm and things to love about them. Wow. Ang galing galing, parang they seem to know every fiber of their character. Paano may be technique kaya na para yung character development nila? Of course, binigyan namin yung mga assignments yan. You really have a responsibility to create your own characters as actors, no? And uh, also, yun, a lot of teen movies na pinanood ko sa mga daming assignments, uh, workshops, um, uh, all that. Thank you to Miss Valga, 
course, Inang for, help us all, for helping us also with uh, creating these uh, characters as well. And Sally, any more questions? Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy Kongulangan of Rando Republica. And our next set of questions from Chicanes Avenue to represent the Boomer. Char, the Gen Z. Sorry. Gen Z. 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 Gen Z.
masaktan kasi lagi ko siya chill check okay na lang ba or masakit ba yun sabihin mo lang sa akin kung uh, nasasaktan ito or mahipit yung hawak or baka mabagsak ito and ayun, eh, sabi ko pa niya yeah, you're fine <laughs> favorite lang niya, yeah, you're fine may unan ba sa kit mo? Ano ba? Ano yung reaction ng parents o dear? Yung reaction ko ng parents ko, honestly po, yung dad ko, may ganun. Sabi niya, hindi pero honestly po, super open-minded po ng pagod ako po. And I really do appreciate that that they also were very supportive in me spreading my wings for this project. And I know that a lot of people may come to certain assumptions na baka parang, I guess, like, they're, um, involved in some kind of parang, I don't know, an overbearing kind of way, but it's really not that way at all. Sobrang ano, supportive lang po talaga sila. And they are really open-minded in the sense na alam mo nila yung mga galaw dito po sa industry. They really do have respect for the art of acting and what's in the script. And, um, they're just, uh, I guess, supportive in seeing me, you know, wait for my dreams and to be part of this industry. Thank you. Thank you. Ayan na, susunod ko lang yung tanong mo sa About Your Parents. At tanong mo, Charmin Joy Pabudo on the Philippines part. What specific advice? Kasi we all know that your parents are both showbiz icons. What specific advice did they give you in terms of acting and singing? When it comes to my career, I think from the very beginning, like what I was always told, that ano nga ako sa lahat, never po na na talaga ako pinigit po mga sa sa industriya ito. And itong masasabi ko po na they always were very real with me in terms of laying out yung mga pros and cons sa pagpasok po dito sa industriya ito. You know, of course, there are ups and downs and especially coming from this particular background, there's a different set of set of pressures that comes with it. Pero itong masasabi ko po, they would always tell me na make sure na you love what you do and hindi po talaga itong um, uh, art na to. And it's of course never, I think what my dad always tells me, and until this day, he always says, never lose your sense of yourself and your mga core values mo as a person. Kasi nga, you're uh, bound to meet so many people and so many experiences na kaya talaga, meron talaga mga tao, they fall into the pitfalls of show business, but you know, I really do have them just by my side to help me stay grounded and I surround myself with the right people and um, in, in terms of other advice of like with this project in particular it's really just be humble, be teachable and um, be willing to learn from every single one of the people. Everyone on set is equal in terms of what kind of knowledge you can earn and learn from them. So, so add to that, napaka trooper ni Jada kasi yung mga seats na nahuhulog sa sa banyo may ano nga may padding nga yun pero minsan nauhulog talaga nagtamaan yung tuhod ni Jada minsan so the next day ikaw may makon pa siya sabi ko oh no baka magalit yung parent ko sa akin kasi may mga pasa but she's such a trooper no it's okay direct it's fine it's part of the job and you know you know acting is a physical and emotional aspect and you need to use your body and your brain so Okay lang yan for the project. So thank you, Jada, for the being so good. And of course, thank you so much for your patience and for all the learning so far. And we're, we're still continuing to tape. And I really do appreciate um, every single bit of information. And yung um, chaga niyo po sa akin at sa akin. In fairness to Jada, for a, a very first acting project, it looks promising like, based on the training. Salamat po. All right. Unfortunately, that's the time we have. Ang pasensya na ito sa hindi na umabot na tanong kay Kapamilya Online World, kay KPEX, and kay Manila Feed. Ayan. Maka may opportunity pa naman to ask them later.